apply it as a follow-up to the other tutorial on how to apply different colors to a material. We're going to now do how to apply a texture to a material or a texture to a, um, a face or a, a mesh. And we're just going to do a plane. So let's start off by creating a plane. And I got the dynamic spacebar plug-in, so we're going to hit the spacebar, do that. I'm going to rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees so it's looking at us. I'm going to kind of zoom in here. I'm going to do control out 0 so the camera is now looking at um, our plane. I'm going to select the camera, shift F. I'm going to fly in a little closer just uh, to match up my output from before which will I'll give you a link for and you can see how the uh, texture is on the uh, both on both sides of the plane okay so I got the plane selected and somebody asked the main reason I'm doing this tutorial somebody asked uh, how you put a texture on both sides of a face and uh, by default when you put a texture on a face it, it goes both sides and that's what we'll see here so the main thing to remember is that when you want to put a texture on a face, you can't put a texture on a materialist um, face or uh, object. Let's call it an object. You can't put a um, texture on a materialist object. The object has to have a material. So on this plane, let's go and first put a uh, material and let's uh, just make it the default gray we don't have to do anything and then turn the specular off because we don't want the material to give a shiny um, kind of an oily face reflection we want um, the the texture to be in control of how it looks and and you know you can do that later if you want or you can do it some other way but this is how normally you start out now that we've got our default material, uh, gray material, now we can apply a texture. So go over here to the texture panel, up here at the right, and uh, click it, and click new. And we're going to cho choose an image. So under type, it's normally at clouds, select image or movie. And I got my image from cgtexture.com. Uh, you can get uh, small ones for free with a uh, download limit um, just signing in and I'm gonna use this uh, uh, this one that um, Andrew Price used for his famous asteroids tutorial and it's a uh, red rock uh, 0038 so anyway you can see you've got uh, 0.1 megabytes, 700 by 700, the small one that you can download for free, the bigger ones if you're a premium member. So just download that. You can see I've already done that. And then once you've got that, come back over here to Blender, and you've selected image or movie. Now we have to go down and say, okay, where is the image? Uh, you would think maybe new but no you're not going to create a new one you're going to open one that you just downloaded and I've got mine located over here in the blender file blender textures textures and here it is red rock 0038 underscore 2 underscore s for small I guess and there we go and there it is and now if you render um, you get a black uh, black thing why is that? Well, when I hit 7, you can see that the light is behind it. So we have to grab that with G, bring it over here in the front. And I'm just going to change that to sun, just because uh, sun is a little more omnidirectional. And I'm going to paint it, position it toward the material just for the heck of it. Okay, so now let's go back to the camera view. And then when we hit um, um, render, there it is. You've got your texture on your panel. Now, wasn't that pretty easy? All right, escape. Um, let's look at some other stuff here. So we just uh, created a material. 
and then we um, went over to textures and we added a texture, an image texture, and then we told it where to find that image texture. And um, that's basically it. Now another little trick, I'll just show you, since this is the basics of how to apply it, um, well let me show you first that it is on both sides. Okay, so go up here to 7. Okay, we've rendered it one time. We've already seen that it's on this side. Okay, I hit escape. Now I've got the plane selected. I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And we're going to render again. There it is on that side as well. So it's on both sides. And then I'm going to give a link down at the bottom that shows uh, in a little movie file it just rotating. So you can actually see that it's on both sides. But another little thing, uh, just like a basic thing I want to tell you, is the geometry. You can also select this, and now you can see that um, the image has affected the normals. Now, this isn't the best way to do it. There's uh, programs that will generate a, um, a normal map, and then you can use that as on another textured layer and then have that affect the normals but just quick and dirty you can you can have the image affect the normals I'm going to turn this down to like 0.2 because this is pretty pretty um, pretty severe so that looks a little bit more natural and it works in color because basically it's taken the dark and depressing it and taking the light areas and raising it and then if you go into the negative zone it'll do it the other way so if it doesn't look right see that kind of looks like it's indented um, and, and you may like that better but that's what's nice about the the new blender version is that you don't have to click a button say uh, inverse it you either go on one side of zero or on the other to affect the normals and uh, that's it. I, I think that's basically all I wanted to say. Very quick little tutorial. Um, we can add some stars in here. Make it look like it's out in, in outer space, floating. And that's what I did in the little video. So that's it. A uh, very quick little tip on how to apply a texture to a material. Pretty simple. And. I believe that's it. So. And thanks for subscribing or watching.